Hey everyone, it's Brandy, and you're watching Abstract Crafter. In today's video, we have the next product up for examination in my ceiling experiments, the much coveted Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. So, I'm going to see if it lives up to its hype, and if you're curious as well, then just keep on watching and we will get into that in just a few moments. Hello friends, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am so glad that you guys all stopped by today to spend a little bit of time with me while I conduct, I think it's round five, in the ceiling experiments, because we did two rounds of resin, triple thick, and mod podge. So this is round five, yes. Without uh, further ado, let's just get right into it. By now you should know the drill, we're gonna do a a sticker and today I have picked out this little gray wolf I think um, and then we're gonna do half of a butterfly keychain I'm still waiting on some notebooks and I will conduct experiments on those on the side and then at the end of all of the experiments we'll compare and contrast um, like I said I don't have stickers that I've done resin on yet but I will add them once they do. This is my little swatch sheet. So, like I said, we've done triple thick. We've done Mod Podge, Dimensional Magic, poured, and then just brushed on there. So, today we're going to add Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue to the mix. This is by far the favorite. And without a doubt, I'm sure I'm going to get comments saying I'm doing it wrong. Well, I want to be... As fair as possible and this is the way I would do it so I'm only gonna do it the way I would already do it anyway so this has um, two tips on it it's got a thin pen tip which will help for certain types of application and then it also has this like foamy brush tip for wider applications I use the regular version of this the, it's a in a green container but it's, it's more or less the same thing, and it's just white, so you can see it better, and it dries clear. This is clear, which is why it's aqua glue. It doesn't have a whole lot of claims. It's just wa acid-free, washable, goes on clear, dries clear, strong permanent bond. Yeah, so I'm... this is probably the cheapest of the stuff that I've bought so far. So let's just get into it. Uh, like I did in the previous video, the Mod Podge, if you haven't seen that, I will link it up in the eye as well as all the other experiments that I've conducted. I won't do everything on camera, but you will see everything at the end of the video. How everything turns out, I like to at least let it sit overnight to cure. I don't know if the Tombow actually needs that because I haven't worked, like I said, I haven't worked with this version. But I know the other one, it's only a couple hours before it's completely cured. But it does, it may dry immediately. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the pen tip. And I'm going to just apply some on there. And then I'm going to move it around with the brush. I'm going to add a little bit into a little shot glass that I got at the thrift store. Add some glitter to it and see if it can take glitter. And then what that would look like. And then I'm going to do just half of this charm so that we can, you know, have plenty of surfaces because I'm going to run out of keychains eventually. I'll have to get more of those too. And then bring in our square and round canvases that I've been doing all my other tests on. And I do have another round in the waiting, in the wait. <laughs> and when I run out of space on this, because I don't know that I'll go in the center, um, I'll, I have more squares that we can use that are of a similar size and color palette. So, all that's out of the way. Let's get started. I'm going to get zoomed in. And you can at least see how I apply it on the sticker and the keychain. And then I'll do the rest off camera. I'll come back and show you everything. 
we'll let it sit overnight and then I'll come back at the very end with my thoughts and opinions and final result results and picture slideshow. All right, we are zoomed in at 2% and I'm just gonna start out with this one. It's got quite a bit of stickiness around the edge, but I don't want it to go off of the border where the sticker is actually cut. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit to make sure it gets there. And then I'll just brush it over to thin it out. Um, I might have a different method for using this on the canvases, but for the sticker, this is just my way of seeing how easily it manipulates, if it stays where I put it, and um, how thin it will go, you know, and to cover where I want. I don't know. There's a lot of reasons I do this, and you can probably imagine. So now I'm just going to kind of squeeze a little bit on there, hopefully not too much. If, I, if there is, I'll just scrape it off into this little shot glass, and then I'm just going to take my brush and kind of scooch it along, and I can already tell I have too much. So, <laughs> you don't have to tell me in the comments, I know. I probably should have used the other end to, to move it around, and I will do that on the canvases, but for this, I'm just trying to brush, make sure it gets on all of the surfaces in between all of the drills and onto the base where the stickiness actually is because you want those drills to adhere to something. Wow, I didn't use very much, so this a little bit goes a long way with this, which is what I was kind of wondering about too for the cost of it. Now this is a glue, so this isn't what you would typically think of when it comes to sealants. It's I like to use it in my dollhouse building because it has such a quick drying time and a really nice strong hold. And see, I already went off the edge on that. Hopefully that won't matter. But I know you want a really thin layer and I will, if this does not go the way that I wanted it to with the thin layer, I will do another one off camera and just brush it on instead of putting it directly onto the sticker and then trying to get the excess off. But like I said, I've never worked with this stuff, so you'll have to forgive me. But I already know that I've already insulted somebody, whoever's this favorite, whoever's favorite product this is. I That was not my intention. I was just trying to do what I <laughs> did with everything else and uh, that was the wrong approach. I will admit that I should have went in with a lighter hand, but I think it'll be okay. But like I said, I will do another one where I brush it on because I want to give it a fair shot. In comparison, I'm not trying to, you know, make this purposely look bad by any means. I would never want to do that to somebody's favorite product. This is the one that I have been the most excited to try because it's got such rave reviews as far as the sealant goes. This is most people's favorite. Between this and the triple thick, I think, is what has been the consensus. All right, we'll leave that alone now. We'll just see what happens with it. Like I said, I'll do another one. But this is where we're at right now. And it is a little bit of a thicker layer. But I'll grab... Let's see, what do I got that's small, so small and easy. We'll take this pineapple and I will just brush it on on this one. I'll just do a nice coat over it like that and just brush it on so that, and I'm just showing you how I'm going to be doing it so that you can see both ways, pour it on and brush it on. Whenever possible, I will do both ways. But I will finish that off camera. For now, let's get in and do this guy. All right, I did put a little tiny bit in the cup to make it easier to brush on. And we'll just take this side. And I'll go around these gems here and try to keep that center as clear as possible. 
and I'm just going to do the same thing I always do and I'm brushing on on this because I don't want a super thick layer on the key rings themselves. I don't really want to encapsulate them. Though I don't think it looks bad on the key rings. I have one that I gifted and I had done the resin pour on and that turned out just fine. So I'm just going to go around and I can already see that it's enhancing those diamonds and making them look a little bit more glassy. Um, I think of any of them, the diamond, like I guess the more silvery ones that you would consider more diamond-like as far as the big gems have been the ones that have not taken as well to any kind of sealant. Those ones always seem to go cloudy or glassy and they should be the ones with the most shine. All right, so there we go. Now we got plenty in there. And I'm just going to make sure it's in all those grooves because there is a lot of grooves on these. And then I just want to go on the side of it here to protect those diamonds from coming off on the side. At least that's the goal. And then hopefully that... It's always worked with every sealant so far. Doing the edge has been the biggest difference. So, I mean, in some cases, you could just do that if you didn't want to brush on a sealant on the whole thing. And I can see that some of my diamonds have already slid around just from being in my craft area. So I'm purposely not going over the tops of the bigger gems just yet because I always tend to overdo it on those and I want to do that last. But this stuff is quick. I mean, you can get a layer on super fast, which is really nice. Some of those sealants, I really had to work to get them in where I wanted them. All right. So I feel like that's very well covered. Just want to get a little bit extra in where these gaps are. It's stuff dries fast. And get those, oh, and throw it around. Get those edges. I think that's another reason this might be people's favorites is how fast it dries and how clear it dries. All right, so I'm gonna just do a really light coat Oh, I'm already out. Good thing I need to mix some up with glitter. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to do a very thin coat over the tops of the big gems. And that is to help protect that AB coating that is on some of them. I mean, like this blue one here doesn't have it. But I still want to see what it would look like when it's got a nice coat on it. Now, if you're doing the brush on method, you want to make sure you have good brushes. You don't want plastic bristles because they're going to leave brush strokes behind. And even this one to an extent kind of is, but I'm hoping that this stuff will be a little bit self-leveling. And we're just about done. And like I said, I will do the rest off camera. I'll come back and show you what everything looks like. We'll let it cure for a few hours and or overnight, depending. I'll check on it and see what it needs. And we'll go from there. And we'll just keep on going with all these experiments. This is actually turning out to be a lot of fun. Plus, it's helping me get some things protected that I normally wouldn't think about protecting, I guess. And I will actually, when I mix up the glitter, I'm going to come over and do this middle the two gems in the middle with this stuff, I think. I haven't decided 100%. But I am going to pause here and get little sections marked off on the canvases themselves. And then I'll brush on and pour on. I'll do both methods so I can see what I like better and if there's a difference. And then I'll add glitter and do another small section. So I think we'll go... I like tend to like to do the bigger areas. But there's more gapping down here. I mean the darker areas. I like to do the darker areas, but there's more gapping down here. So I think I'll come down here between the triple thick and the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. 
All right, I will see you in just a split second. All right, I finished all the applications, and in some instances, it's already dry, but we're still going to give it time to cure just for the sake of seeing what happens, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we have our sticker in which I poured it on there. I added maybe too much, but it'll be interesting to see what happens because that's something that could easily happen to anybody. I brushed it on here, and there is spots where I added a little bit of glitter, but not all over. And here is the key ring. I did put a little layer of glitter right in the center, brushed on, of course. And this is also brushed on, as you saw. Canvases down here, we have brushed on, poured, and glitter brush. And what I mean by poured is I put a little bit down with this end and I moved it around with this end. And what's really nice about this end is it's got little teeth on it. I don't know if you can see that. And that helps get it right in those grooves. So maybe when I'm done with this product, I might keep this tip for that purpose. It works almost better than a brush because it forces it. So uh, it's, I just finished these so they're still wet, but I got the glitter here. You can see as I move it through the light. And you may be asking yourself, why do I keep doing glitter? Because I like it. <laughs> Just quite honestly, uh, I started out trying it and I just, I have to be consistent. So I just kept doing it. And here we go on our rounds. It's brushed right here, pour poured right down the center and then glitter. I didn't realize I didn't give myself as much room as I probably needed, but I tried to at least keep a gap, at least one drill gap between where I brushed, poured, and glittered. Crap, I forgot to put the brush down there. <laughs> I was like, wow, that looks like drills. But it's because I forgot to brush it on, so I'll do that. And then when we come back in the next clip, you'll see all those finished results. So, I will see you in just a few moments and we will take a look at how everything looks dried and I will give you my final thoughts. Well, all right, friends, we're back with the results from the Tombow Aqua glue to see how, how she fared. And I guess I'm a little bit afraid because this is so many people's tried and true. But I do want to share, I, I took a couple comments and I'm going to put them on the screen as I talk about how people use this product where they mix it with water. And I haven't tried that, but I'll try it off camera. So when we get to the end of all of this, the experiments, uh, I can show that as well. So anything that I do off camera, obviously in the final video, we'll talk about. And once again, I have not looked at anything before you. I'm going to look at it for the first time with you. It's been about 12 hours, or 24 hours, excuse me. So I know it doesn't need that long. A lot of it was drying before I even finished all of the placements of everything. But let's start with the stickers. Let's move this out and we'll zoom in to 2%. There we go. So then you can get a nice up close. So this is the one that was actually poured on there. And as you can see, it's still turned out really nice it didn't like pool up or anything and you can it still looks it maintained the sparkle so I guess what people have said is true and this is the one okay I'm gonna have to go back to the video actually because one was poured on and one was brushed on I think this was poured on this was brushed on if I have that wrong obviously I'll annotate that but it doesn't really matter because you can see both of them maintained their sparkle. So both methods worked really well. You're going to see more intense sparkle on this one because of the darker colors. Lighter colors have a hard time showing the sparkle. So this is just one coat and I wanted to be crafty and I added glitter to the top part there. So you might get more sparkle up there. And then I added it to the border just for something different. So that turned out beautifully. And let's see, we got our accessory here. And honestly, for a second there, I couldn't even tell what side was what. So 
this is the side with the sealant on it and this is the side without and I put glitter down the center um if you pull hard on these though because it's just a glue you could pull them off so I'm not going to do that um, but just be aware of that but you can see that it left just the thinnest layer on there and it almost helped intensify the sparkle if you're seeing what I'm seeing anyway and just by adding that really thin layer so there's that let's take a look at the rounds so up it's up on the top here where it says Tombow Aqua and I went let's see if I can even tell the gl glitter goes to about there and I see no difference between where I poured it again and where I just brushed it on so that is pretty amazing so far this has yielded the best results and just in case you don't remember if you're just watching for the Tombow this glue underneath is so bad that I can just pull those drills off without much and here I can't pull them off as easily or at all really so you can see where the line between where the drills are sticking to each other I always like when they do that but I'm not seeing much of a difference between the poured and the brushed on so it that is really really cool and then let's peek at the squares which I kind of started with and I can't really see it like right here is where it was poured on and I brushed it through this is where I brushed it on and then here's the glitter on the far column and again it didn't really seem to affect it you can't even really tell where I left off with it so that wow okay so so far this seems to be the one that maintains sparkle the best and is most versatile I'm gonna insert pictures while I talk about like I did in the last video so that you can see everything up close and what they look like with flash and without flash and I'll start that slideshow here so pros and cons I think the pros is it's very easy to use and you can use either method you could use a brush to brush it on you could use it right out of the bottle and use the broad tip that's provided on the bottom part of the glue to spread it out which also has like its own little teeth on it and that helps get it in those grooves a little bit easier than anything else has uh for the cons you gotta work fast so like where i poured it into a cup to add glitter and stuff to it uh, it did start to get gummy if I didn't work fast enough toward the end there. And then the other thing I noticed is that you can overwork it. It You got to do a lot. But uh, where I had poured it on and used the bristles provided on the actual bottle, I can see bubbles on there. Uh, the other con I would have to say is that it is kind of brittle with one coat. I mean, it's very flexible, but it... I can hear it cracking beneath when I try to move it. Not that that's something that you would do, but on the stickers, it might be an issue. So I'm going to peel off the sticker just to see. So it is still a little bit flexible. And I'd, I wouldn't think you'd need more than one coat with this. With the pineapple, there is two coats on the very tip. But again, I can hear it cracking. I can't tell if it's actually breaking or not. But I'm going to try to peel the pineapple off and see. So I think it is a very good method. And it's a very cheap alternative as well. You have to be careful where you're purchasing this. Because there were sellers on Amazon that were trying to charge an arm and a leg. And I actually bought it in the craft store for under $5. I don't know how much you could do with one bottle. But I will try to find the cheapest link online and add that to the description. But again, if you can't get it for under $5 on Amazon, just go to the craft store and buy it. Like I said, that's where I got it. I think you could probably order it online too. Plus you could use a 50% off coupon if you really want to get it cheap. 
Um, I'm going to try the partner of this, which is the white glue, and see if that has the same results. But I think this is a very good alternative, or a very good sealant. I'm sorry, not alternative. Uh, as far as ranking everything, I'm not going to do any of that just yet. But early rankings, this would be toward the top. I do like it. But again, I'm doing small sections, so those of you that have done entire paintings know better than me how it actually ends up working out. But as far as all the things that I'm looking for in a sealant, it seems to have checked all the boxes. And I went in with no expectations of anything, even even though it was a rave product, raved about product. I didn't go in expecting it to do anything more than just to seal, but... I guess with so many of these not having optimal results, I kind of, to be honest, wasn't expecting it to be as good. I almost say that adding the glitter doesn't really do it a service because it kind of gets lost a little bit in there. And it the glitter tends to sit differently. And like if you if you look right here on the picture... I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but you can see where it kind of pooled up and it like fell off the tops of the drills and just pooled up around it. Same with where right in here where I poured it on there and I really like kind of scrubbed it almost, but I think on the squares it just, it didn't really, there we go. That's the con that I'm going to have to add in here <laughs> is taking a closer look at it now and you may have seen that in the pictures is it does pull up a lot on the squares so you have to go into the light hand and maybe adding the water to it that like it was suggested by um, some of the comments would eliminate some of that pooling up on squares but on the rounds the accessories and the stickers it was really nice where it would have pulled around the drills it actually falls in between them so it's not as noticeable and the glitter didn't seem to fall off of the round drills either. So that's where we're at now. So we're going to move on after this and try the Judikins Diamond Glaze. Again, this is something I bought for jewelry making. I use it as an adhesive because it dries so clear. And it's a nice thin formula. It's very watery. So I'm hoping that that will leave a nice finish as well. Um, but that's all I have for you in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. Hit the thumbs up so that the video will get seen by more and more people. And then it'll help our wonderful, amazing family grow. Hit that bell notification so that you will always be updated when I upload more videos just like this one. And with that, I will let you go. Have an awesome day. Have fun doing whatever it is that truly, truly makes you happy. I love you, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!